All right. Well, first of all, thank you guys for showing up. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, it means the world to me. It means the world to the foundation that we started in honor of my mom. So every, every ticket that was sold here, uh, every dollar goes to the foundation. So I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, if you have any questions about the foundation, Johnny is here to help with all of that. So I want to get that out of the way. Thank you guys for being here. Um, but... Uh, we have a great guest today. He doesn't need an intro, but I'm here to give him one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can't um, wait to hear it. I think it. everyone's more excited to see you than me. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'll take it. So, uh, but our guest and I uh, flew in to fuel me up for this podcast. I did. Um, he just dropped a new coffee that can f fuel you up for your day as well. Yes. Flight Fuel. Flight it's fuel, on all of my social media. Go check it out. I just delivered some to him. He loved it. <laughs> <laughs> but from the iconic therapy sessions to slow motion walks in his high heels, he's everyone's favorite gunkel in my new BFF. Chris Olson, everybody. Wow. That was a great intro. Yeah, you know. That was good stuff. Yeah. I, I do some of those I mean, things. I mean, Chris, go in and, and right away tell us about Flight Fuel. Oh, um, okay. Well, I think, I, I guess a lot of people know me from my like bit of delivering coffee because I think that's one of the longest bits I have on social media. Like I do a bunch of other things like as we said, walking in the, the heels, slow motion, or like talking to my therapist, or um, sometimes singing, like I do, there's a bunch of different vibes that I do, but uh, delivering coffee was like the longest one that I did. So I wanted, and, and people have always wanted me to deliver it to them, and I wanted there to be like a way for everyone to be a part of it. So that's kind of where the idea came about like a year ago, and now it's all like coming together. And I also drink coffee all the time, I love it. I have two a day. Um, sometimes three. I try to slow myself down, but I have it all the time. So I do need people to tell me where to go while I'm here um, because I'm sure there are some good places to try. Um, but that's kind of where that's kind of where it started. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I'm going to put it at Three Natives, so that's my next Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. Gonna, we're doing a little so partnership, have it here a little so bit. it works. Um, but before we go, let's get started. I have a surprise. I've been trying to hide it from you all night. And uh, I'm ready to show you. Uh, you, uh, okay. you, had, you had an iconic necklace that was given to you. <laughs> I and did. For every bottom, there needs to be a top. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. First of all, one of these has fallen over, dang so we gotta fix dang that. It. Fix me up. Wow. Me up. That's what, so we took that we had photos that, yes. like a few minutes. She, well, she, she took it, out, I pulled it out when you weren't looking. Wow. Right. Oh, I see. So oh I, can my wear, God. I can wear it out now. I'm your top. So are you going to wear it? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to wear that? Like, is that going to stay on? All night. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Okay, I wish I had mine. <laughs> I didn't bring it along with me. I know. Time. I'm bummed. I'm bummed. But I'll I'm bring it to New York or sometime. Sometimes. I'll see you next. Yeah, for sure. You that know? totally works. <laughs> wow. That's dedication. Yeah. That's, uh, that's more than any man has really done for me in the past. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will take that. That's, there we go. Wow. Wow. There wow. Go. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. All That's right. good stuff. Well, what well, is Valentine's Day? And I mean, I guess we're all single in here because I don't see many men in here. So shout out to all y'all. Oh, what's up? We got yeah. one. We got one. Hey. We got one. Is anyone else in a relationship here? No. Boo. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. How is it going? Are you the only one? No one else really <laughs> raised their hand. Oh, we oh okay, okay, we, okay. Few we got a few, here. we got a few. I'm yeah. really proud of you guys. You're doing what all of us can't. Yeah. <laughs> what none of us seem to be able to figure out, you've done it. So that's really great. I'm really proud of you. But for the rest of us, this is our day. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is our day to be together. Yep. Right? Well, I guess I'm now. <laughs> I don't have to say anything else there. That, that's, that's where we go. Well, we always start this show with a hard hitting question. And so I'll give you the question. Okay. Don't give me the answer yet because we're going to go to a song. And then when we go to a song, guys, we'll interact with you guys. Y'all will do questions and we'll, and we'll hang with y'all. Okay. Um, so our hard hitting question is if you, if you could choose anyone to be your Valentine right now, who would it be? Okay. Don't say it. Think on it. Don't say it. Right, think on right, it. Think on it. But first, give me a song. Give you a song? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and someone else like, I, I can't, you know, the only kid, the only artist that runs through my mind and I can't say, our, <laughs> I can't have it. No, no, no. We got to do something else. Um, Kiwi, Harry Styles. Is that K-I-W-I? K-I-W-I. Yeah, that's how you spell Kiwi. K- yeah, that's, that's <laughs> that is the way to do it. There you go. There we go. Oh, song is over. We're song's back. Done. <laughs> All right. Does that mean they were listening? That means they were listening. So great. Okay. Hit us with, hit I us think with they heard what who you heard you're, said. Who would you choose right now to be your Valentine? Yeah, it would. I mean, that my classic answer would be Harry Styles, I guess. But it, it could also go between an Austin Butler. It could also be. Mm. Oh, the crowd. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just said something hilarious about Austin Butler in one of your videos about a smoky cigarette room. Oh, oh that? my what God, did I did say something about Austin Butler. What did I say? What was I saying? I was that? Oh, it was in, my, in a therapy video. Mm-hmm. I was like, I would th- I would assume, and then she says, I don't think anyone cares who Austin Butler smells, or what Austin Butler smells like, but I would argue everyone in this room wants to know what Austin Butler smells like, even her husband. Am I right? <laughs> yes, right. Oh, sorry. I was just- yes, yes, yes. Daddy as well. Daddy is Harry. Um, so, uh... So Harry Austin, or if it, if it were gay, it would be Jonathan Bailey from Bridgerton. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, you know, there's there's a few. What are you, who's I mean, yours? I, I kind of feel shitty because I'm sitting here with you on Valentine's Day, but all right, you know, right, right, right. I mean, I'm playing it chill though. Yeah, okay. I'm in the long okay, game. Well, we're going I'm out to dinner after this. Dinner you're tonight, already so. wearing a top necklace. Yeah. I feel like I've bagged it. <laughs> um, um, I think someone who, who I've had a crush on, who I just love. Yeah. From their attitude to the way to the way she looks, the way she dresses, and just how she goes about it, is Meg Thee Stallion. Oh, whoa. I'm in love with Meg Thee Stallion. Okay, what's funny about this is like I feel like you these people are all like relatively in reach for you. So mm-hmm. you know, put it out into the universe and make it happen. And now that you've said it, you're one step closer. One step closer. One yeah. Step closer. Okay, that's a good celebrity crush. All right. So I have a theory. Someone gave to me the other day. Okay. Ooh, someone's right. got a call. So yeah. I had a theory that someone delivered to me the other day. I was like, oh, it makes kind of sense. So okay. he stated that there should be no relationships. If you haven't started a relationship yet, you shouldn't get in a relationship between Thanksgiving and the end of Valentine's Day. I said that? No, not you, but oh. someone I was speaking to. <laughs> I was like, I don't get in a relationship because. whenever you can. <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay. Because yes. they're like, well, it makes it very awkward. Like, am I invited to Christmas? Am I invited right. to Thanksgiving? And here mm-hmm. we are on Valentine's Day. Like, am I supposed to give you something, do something with sure. you? Sure, sure. I started, like, kind of going on dates with a guy right after Thanksgiving. So I'm in a little bit of that position now. But it's, I feel like if you start dating someone right around Thanksgiving, by the time Christmas and Valentine's Day are come around, like it's you're you're not really in that deep mm-hmm. to make it happen. I feel like if it's like a September October moment, and then you've been dating for a few months, and then Christmas or Thanksgiving or uh, what, by the time Valentine's Day comes around, if you've been like dating since September, you should give someone flowers. Okay, you should do well, something I th- I think like September, that. September, yes, that's yes, fair. yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, it would be tough if you were, I guess, dating from November. But uh, the guy I'm, I've been going on dates with will be getting I mean, flowers. I think if you, if, I mean, if you, like, I don't know how I feel about this. This was like something that brought okay. to me. I was like, if you want to stick away from si- sticky situations, it's a good way to do it. Yeah, but I mean. Thanksgiving, you got like twenty. You got a month until Christmas. Right, Christmas right. Christmas is a little much. That's a lot right. of family. Yeah, but, yeah, but Valentine's yeah. Valentine's Day is a little bit more casual than Christmas is and Thanksgiving yes. and whatnot. So I think you should be getting flowers or yeah. a date or something. I guess in my last relationship, we started dating in September of 2019. And by Christmas, he came to, he came to, to visit my family. family. For like a day. That was a lot though. I was really obsessed with him very quickly. Wouldn't recommend. I think that is all what- mine's <laughs> crash and burn too. Don't worry. Yeah, Don't yeah, worry. Yeah. It's, it's either, like I'm trying not to do that. Are you someone I, who like, get, once you start liking someone, you're like obsessed with obsessed, them? Obsessed, obsessed. Yeah. Why do the wheels fall off? They fall off quick. And they fall off quick. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. I mean, that tends to be what happens when you like really start feeling that soup quickly we got some some people <laughs> nodding yeah yeah it's just like i feel like whenever it's it's i can't say that so, yeah. um but it's it's just like it's okay well you, you know we <laughs> saw um like like I, I I know nothing about their relationship. This is just an observation. But MGK and Megan Fox were obsessed with each other very early on, and now I feel like there is trouble in paradise. And I'm like, well, I think I saw that because when you are so on fire so early on, it's like that fire can only start to burn at some point. Like it's it only or it, burn out. 
Right, right, yeah. right. Like it only really usually gets to that point. And I'm sure there are people, I mean, Megan and Daryl, uh, uh, who like, they said, I love you after six days. Um, Megan Trainer and Daryl, oh. the spy kid, I, Sabara. I, I need, I need. Who's that? I need full names. I Kill need, him. I need full uh, names. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I need full names. <laughs> okay. Cut I didn't even know there was the trouble podcast. in paradise with uh, Megan Fox and MGK. I'm out of the loop. You're out of the loop. I'm out of the loop. Like, so, okay. Half the crushes y'all named, I don't know. Louis Hamilton. Louis I Hamilton? I do, actually, I know You're that getting, one. No, no, no. <laughs> You're getting yourself canceled right now. You need to just stop talking. Um, I, uh, uh, Megan and MGK, Megan recently just, uh, uh, first she like followed Eminem on Instagram and she follows ZR people and they publicly have beef. And then after she followed him, she deleted all of her photos with MGK and then deleted her Instagram. Damn. So that's got to let you know. So you're saying I there's a chance. I don't know, I don't know, like, period. Um, but uh, Megan Trainer and Daryl. Uh, I know they Megan Trainer. Yeah, now. they said I love you after six days of knowing each other. And they have been perfect together ever since. Like their relationship is so beautiful. So it's, it's not one or the other. It's not like if you fall in love so quickly, it's going to be bad. But I think there can, it like with really fiery personalities, it can tend to be tough. And I'm someone who like has, I, I really I, like, as I think we were both just saying, like I feel a lot really early on mm -hmm. and then that can tend to go in different directions. Yep, yep, the wrong. Direction. Yeah, especially because people like, it's almost impossible to be on the same page when mm -hmm. you're doing all of that. Mm -hmm. Were you saying something there? Was I saying Nothing. something? <laughs> Were you just staring into my no, eyes? No, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, we're right. Uh -huh. Anyways, okay, anyways. Uh, <laughs> what about summertime? What's your favorite? What's your favorite time of year to have a relationship or start a relationship? I f uh, yeah, I feel like summer is probably a no. Winter is a good relationship time because it's like, uh, well, I, I guess yes. There's the whole Christmas part of it, but like. Um, being like cuddly during a, a, a winter time moment or like traveling together or all of those things. I feel like that. I feel like if you make it through like a, a dark winter with someone, then you're, you're only closer with someone, right? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I think maybe it's true. I don't know. What's yours? I think, I think all my relationships start in the summer because I'm just, I'm, usually I'm drunk. You're just like horny too. in yeah, the summer. Horny, the water's yes. hot, the drinks are better. Right, okay, mm -hmm. sure. Everyone looks prettier. So, okay, mm, right. So all of your relationships starting out drunk, I feel like that is an interesting point yes. to dive into yeah. and that tends to maybe be <laughs> tough. You know, um, I, need, I need your therapist, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Can right, I get her right. number? She will call you out on things. Um, yeah, do you feel like your first dates with people, you're usually like, like slamming back some drinks? Stern. No, not too bad. Oh, not okay. Too bad. Like seven. Seven. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. One, two, or I don't seven. Know, you're of the you're a large guy, so I guess I would like you would, that would probably no, be a heavy no, weight. I, no, no. Uh, on the like the first date's not too bad. Not okay. Too bad. I like to What is your so. ideal first date? I'm Listen a, up. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm a dinner guy. Same. I love dinner. But some people are really scared of dinner. Yeah, but my whole thing is like, if we can't have a conversation and talk through it, you know, like then like if there's air or like dead space in it, right. it's not going to work. Right. That's why we're going out to dinner tonight, mm -hmm. isn't it? And we're going to okay. see. Yeah. We're going right. to see. Right. Um, yeah, no, I'm a dinner person, but a lot of people, I've seen on TikTok recently, a lot of people be like, I, I, I can't do dinner. Like I have to do drinks. I need a quick escape. Or if I'm not drinking, I have to do coffee. I'm like, I agree with that. But also I'm not going to go out with a, on a date with someone usually if I don't already think that we're going to have good conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm not a kind of person that's just like message once, twice, okay, date, like, should we do this? You have to like talk a little bit. Oh, online. really? I'm like, I don't do that. I'm, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you look good. I, I no, look I don't good. say that, but I'm like, right. I'm like you, like, you, you love good. to see you out. Like, you what like, do you do? Are you at Instagram DMs is yes. your main thing? I, I literally just keep some, I would, do you slide take, in? I would love to take you out sometime. Tate. Okay. Tate. Whoa! I didn't yeah. ask her out. Clear that up. Okay, <laughs> just but her sister. They read my DMs. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you are you a, are you a do you slide in or do you wait for someone to? Uh, I slide. Okay. I slide. He makes the first move. That's fun. For the, my last year after being in a relationship, I was like, I will not be making the first move. I'm going to let it all come to me. And that didn't work at all. Um, well, no, <laughs> what would happen is 
people like guys would be so like ready to make it happen, very into it. And then like multiple times it would be someone who started the conversation, started the date and, and we would go on a few dates and then they would, they would say, I did not expect to like you so much and I'm not ready for this. And I'm like, what is you? So were you DMing me you know hoping you me wouldn't of? really be into it? Like nope. that. That's like every employer when they come like, you're too qualified for this job. Right, right, just, right. I think that's just them letting you down nicely. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And then it's it's kind of saving you from like a good a good thing. But then I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not waiting for someone because then it seems to just, it, it never really gives you the result because then you're not really doing things on your own terms. Not that I think if someone were to like reach out and try to chase after you, that that's a bad thing at all. But I think I'm a chaser and I didn't like that about myself for a while, but now I do. I'm like, no, it's like, I like uh, chasing a little bit and like wanting to impress someone and doing all, and I like when it's done to me as well, but if mm -hmm. there's like a little bit of both of that happening, then it's then it's good. Cause then also if someone comes on too strong, then it's it can be a, a turn off a little bit as well. Go back and forth. Yeah. What about long distance relationships? Um, uh, well, a lot of no's in I here. don't know. Like. I, people can make it work. I, I've done it before, and I'm also kind of all over the place. So sometimes I, f so I feel like when I've been dating people, it, it kind of has had to be long distance. It's not my ideal thing, mm -hmm. but I think it's possible to make it work. I don't know. No. Yeah. Right. We. It's a split crowd. I think it works depending on who you are. Like if you're if you're able to, I I don't think the move is talking nonstop every all day every day when you're separated. I don't think that does. I, I think that creates a false sense of intimacy for each other because you feel like you're having this continued conversation um, and like trying to make it happen when you're really apart. And I think like letting you miss each other is actually like where the magic of a long distance relationship lives. Cause then when you see each other, it's so special. Have you ever been in one? In a long distance relationship? Yeah, yeah. it didn't work out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously none of them worked out, I'm still here. <laughs> right, right, right. Have, okay, great. But yeah, no, it didn't, didn't work out, it didn't work. It, I mean, it was tough, I mean, <laughs> huh? I'm single. Oh, he's single. Yeah. Well, <laughs> wait until after tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but I did long, my first girlfriend was long distance. Oh, okay. And we dated for like a year and a half and we were seven hours away and they're like, wow. we couldn't really fly to each other. So we had yeah, to right. drive always and it was- Whoa, it was that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. And we were young, we were broke, so we couldn't make the drive always. Okay. So yeah. it was like, I dated my phone for a year and a half. I felt like. Yeah, that's not really the move. Yeah. If you're long distance and you're like two adults and you can like go visit each other, I also think there's like, you always need to have a plan of when you're gonna see each other next. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't go more than like two weeks if possible. But I know like there are people who are like, I am going off to another country to work, so that's not gonna be a thing. But um, I think if you always have something, what are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm not saying anything funny, um, but I think if you always have something to look forward to, then there's something. I just feel like there's a lot of like first like things you've been through. Huh? Like, I've been through many a thing <laughs> since like I've it. like I've, I've really like I've lived many different lives more than I've wanted to. Um, but here I am. <laughs> it's uh, a lot for 25. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. Somehow, yeah, somehow I'm still here and I'm making it happen. But yeah, uh, if you can do that, I don't know. Whatever. What about then. this? Going back to your ex. What? What about this, going back to your ex? No, not for me. I think, I don't know. God, I'm so diplomatic about everything I say. I'm like, I wanna always be like, I think for some people it'll work, but I don't know, what was the reason you broke up? You know what I mean? And like, was it too late? Did you break up much later than you should have? Cause you probably did. Most breakups I feel like happen a few months after they should have. Mm -hmm. Like, especially with those long-term relationships because you're continuing to hold out hope and being like, it's gonna turn around and the bad has outweighed the good for so long at that yep. point. I don't know, what about you, no, going back like, to your ex? Huh, I've done it, not good, not good. Yeah, uh, I right. feel like every relationship, there's gotta be balance, right? Yeah. And when there's a breakup and someone breaks up and someone's kind of begging for that person back, mm -hmm. it creates like a really bad power dynamic. Yes, And yes. I've been on both, both sides, sides of that and it's not fair to the person at all. No. And so I think, you know, when a breakup does happen, you really gotta sit through it and sit through like, I think the part of the reason is like we're hurt, when that breakup happens, mm -hmm. and so it, so we want to we want to go back to that person right away. Yeah, of course. I, I don't think you know once we go through the actual pain of it and get through it and really think about why we're broken up and why we're you know in this situation, then you realize oh I don't need to go back to that. Like there's one right. relationship where I went back three times, 
And I was like, I should have been out. Three times. <clears throat> I <don't> know. <laughs> I should have been out Hear the that. first time. And, and everyone was yeah. telling me, but I was so blind to it because I was Of just course, hurt, of course. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Also, if you're like the trying to go back to someone like that, that part of you that you're looking that you, that you miss from the start of the relationship doesn't exist anymore. Mm -mm. And like that relationship will never exist again. If anything, if you're, if you are to get back and it's to be good again, it's because you've evolved and grown as two separate people and you find something new, but you want to go back to a thing that will never happen. But I think like every time I have gone back, it's been, Oh, great for two weeks. And then we're right back to where we were. So of course, quick, you know, I remember, yeah. And like uh, a breakup, I, I like, um, one, a guy was just like, I will, like, I will make it different. Like I will change. Like I promise, like I, I will work on myself, all of those things. And I was like this, we've had this conversation in the relationship. What means what, like what after the breakup means that it will actually be different. Like we've had this conversation over and over again. There's no actual going back. Like I, I can't, I know that if we were to get back into it, for a week or two, we would be going through a flow and you might be communicating to me, but you can't change how a person mm -hmm. is. No. And if that person doesn't match up with, the, especially if they're not willing to work on themselves. Mm -hmm. I remember I was, I was in a relationship and um, the guy was in like, we, I got him in therapy in a way. Um, and we got in a big old fight one day and he had therapy that day. And, um, he texted me 20 minutes into therapy and was like, Oh, I finished early. I was like, what? <laughs> and then I came down he was like, yeah, we didn't really have much to talk about. And I was like, <laughs> so what is therapy to you? Is it gossip? Is it just like chatting? Is it like gabbing with your girls? Because <laughs> therapy with after you have a fight, it's like, I'm going to talk for an hour. I'm going to take up my time. So are you in therapy? Uh, so it's I okay. Have, you can admit. No, it. I'm not yeah. in therapy right now. I great. need to go, but I have a story why I haven't been in. Okay. Great. You want to hear it? Yeah, <laughs> we all do. Want to hear the excuse? <laughs> Give it to us. <laughs> no, no, I, I definitely need therapy. So, okay. so when I was <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, so, I am licensed. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no, no, so not. I was in a relationship and I was, I was like figuring out all these insecurities that, you know, were being brought up from my past, from my family, from all these things in this relationship. And I was like, you know, I want to go get help and go see somebody. So I went to go see somebody. And, um, and I remember this person DM me and they're like, you know, pretty big following. They're like a wor you know, world renowned therapist on TV, all this stuff. I'm like, wow, well, they got to know what the fuck they're talking about. You right. know, if you're on TV, you don't know shit I've learned. So <laughs> <laughs> you're dumb enough to get there. Yeah. And right. So, right. <laughs> and so I was like, I hit her up and she's like, yeah, I'm in Boca in New York. You know, I was like, I'll come, I'll come to Boca. Yeah. You know, came down and went to go see her and she was like talking to me and everything. And. And I was like, yeah, like she was telling me about like all these things she does, hypnotherapy and everything like that. And so I was like, okay, I'm into it. And then she's like, um, but if you do therapy, like we can't be friends anymore. And I was like, I would never, I never was even friends with you to start. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, We're not friends. <laughs> What's and, your name? And so, so she, yeah. so she was like, like, like we can't hang out, we can't get drinks, we can't do anything. No, right. I was yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. but I need help. I'm like yeah. not even like, <laughs> like catching on to what she's saying really, you know? And so I was like, she's like, she's like, all right, well, how about this? I want you to go in this room over here and sit about it, sit and think for like five minutes. And if you want to do it, do it. So I'm in there thinking, and then she comes in the room and she's like uh. next to the armchair. And she's like, are you sure you want to do this? And I was like, I was like, you know what? Let me call you back. And like, you know, and I was like, all right, well, therapy is not it. Oh my right God. Now. Like, Take away her license. First of all, <laughs> that is horrible. That's really bad. I'm so well, sorry that you had that experience. I will, I I will give it a try. But I think yeah. the hardest thing for me is to figure out who is the right person for it. But I think it's something you have to, it's like dating you have to go. Yeah. Through. You have to like shop around a little yeah. bit. So you do like one session. I don't know. Do you feel like you would respond better to like a, a woman or I, Well, I would say this. Guy, I, I you know? communicate best with women. Like, right. Would, would y'all agree? Or no, that they're mad at me right now. <laughs> Communicates best with women. Yeah, like, yeah. like I open up way more to women than I do men. Like, because I mm. think men, like when I talk to other men, it's always like an ego thing, and yeah, it's hard to, like, sure. So I don't know. So I've always struggled with it. <laughs> I open up to men in different ways. Um, so I guess, uh, but no, that makes sense. My therapist, my therapist is a gay woman and I feel like we connect over a lot of those things. So I feel like having some similarities, but also differences enough that they can be, they can give you a different perspective of things, but yeah. also share um, some of the like perspectives that you go through. I think, I think it's important. Yeah, no, You definitely. can get into therapy. I believe in you. 
We're going to work on it. Yeah. When we do, we're going to celebrate. When yes. We find, when we find our person. We'll have a, a your therapist? Or? Yeah, when we find okay. my therapist. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where we were going with that. <laughs> All right. Great. So, so it's Valentine's Day, and I would love, if you guys have any great Valentine's Day stories to share them with us, um, mm-hmm. do you have any? Do I have a really great Valentine's I don't have a great Valentine's Day story. I do have a, a story where a date almost killed me. Um, huh? But no, but it was kind of like acute. Did you get uh, therapy for that? Yeah, well, no, because this <laughs> happened a while ago. Um, we were like, I, I had met, I was, I, I think I was still going to school in Boston and I had met this guy. Should I tell it now? Is that what, where you were kind of leading me to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, great. Yes. Okay. And he'll tell a story after. Um, this isn't all about me. Um, so uh, he, uh, we, we, I was, I was like in New York City for a day, and I was, I was kind of swiping on Tinder. I was using it like as a form of social media because it was like, you know, you just kind of like look, and they're pretty, and all of those things. Sometimes, especially when you're like 18, 19, you match to match. You know, you're not like I'm gonna find the one. Though some of you maybe are, um, and I don't <laughs> shame you for that. So. I matched with this guy. Uh, he was like, uh, we should, we should, uh, we should like go on a date. And I was like, oh, I'm only in the city for one more night. He was like, well, I'm, I have tonight free. Do you have tonight free? And my friend had just canceled on me. So I was like, I, I guess I have tonight free. Like I, I could make it happen. Um, and he was like, why don't you come over? And I was like, I don't really do, um, why are you already laughing? I haven't even gotten there. <laughs> Yes, well, something funny will happen. Um, So uh, I was like, I was like, he was like, why don't you come over and we'll chill? I was like, I don't really like first date, come over and chill. No, 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 no. let's go out to dinner. I suggested a dinner um, or doing something like that. He was like, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go out to dinner. That that totally works. Um, And so eventually, like, date time comes around and he's like, I'll just be getting off work. So why don't you meet me at my place and then we'll go over? And I was like, I. Okay, that was like I'll meet you uh, outside or like do something. Like, he was like, okay, like um, yeah, sure. Like just meet me outside and we'll and then we'll go over together. So I get over there, and by the way, I'm like 18, 19. I don't have many critical critical thinking skills at this point. So I'm just kind of like going with the flow. I'm like walking on over um, and I don't know New York that well. So I don't know that this is like maybe not the best area, but I'm just like, anyway, like let's go on the date. So I go up and then uh, I, I DM him and I'm like, hey, I'm here. He's like, oh, I'm still getting changed. Just like buzz up. And I'm like, okay. Um, I don't think this is part of the plan, but I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna like buzz up. Like, and, and, then, I'm, and then I'm just gonna like, and I'm gonna tell text my friend, like I, I sent her a screenshot of the guy because I'm also a people pleaser, like to my death at this point, like I will people please and get killed for it. Um, and so I'm, I send a screenshot cause I'm like, I don't want to make this guy mad. Like he's just getting changed. Maybe he's different. Um, and so I send a screenshot to my friend. I'm like, this is the guy if I die. Um, and so I end up, so I go in. His apartment is like large for New York, but all he has in there is a twin bed. <laughs> And then like his kitchen and a rug. There's like, and then a TV that's on the floor. There's, it's, there's yeah. nothing. It feels like, it feels like one of those, like it, it's a Navy sheet apartment. We all know what I mean by that. Do you know what I mean by no, that? No, I don't. <laughs> that means you probably had one. Um, okay. So it's what? like these target Navy sheets that guys have that they don't wash okay. enough. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So you had one of those. Okay. Navy sheets. Navy sheets. So we're there, right? And um, he's taking a very he's taking a very long time to change. I'm like, this is this is being this is getting very strange. He's like, by the way, I'm I'm actually like really tired for work. Do you, would you mind if we just stayed in? I was like, <laughs> ah, I thought we were gonna go out to dinner, but I, but like I mean, we can stay in if you want. Like I don't I don't I really I I should probably I probably have to go like a little in in a, a second, but we could stay <laughs> if you want. Um, we can probably stay in. So he's like, okay, we'll just like, we'll just feel it out. Let me just like throw something on and maybe we can chill. There's no place to sit but his twin bed. So we sit on his twin bed and he puts on an ABBA documentary. <laughs> <laughs> And so we're sitting watching this ABBA documentary and he orders Thai food and it's not very good. I like Thai food, but the Thai food that he ordered was not very good. And so then he starts falling asleep. Um, And I'm like, I guess I'll just kind of like sneak out. I guess I'll just kind of like sneak out from here. I don't really, he's like, oh, but but he wakes up as I'm leaving. He's like, "Uh, I don't like, it's actually not a very safe area around here. So you should probably stay. (laughs) And again, I'm 19, he's older than me. And I'm like, I really don't think I mm, (laughs) am. I have, I have always 
has been. I've had an interesting type, and it's it's uh, much it's older. yeah. It's not like that much older. Like I I know that's not really the type I should go for anymore. <laughs> anymore. Anyway, uh, so um, I end up so I end up being like, okay, I'm going to stay awake for some reason. This people pleasing side of me, which I've really worked on a lot since then, like takes over me to a, a point of being like, if I stay or if I, I if I go, he will be more like uh, there's more of a chance of me dying than if I stay. <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to stay awake. Like, I'm just going to stay awake all night. So he's like, we do, don't worry. Like, I'm not trying to be a predator, right? <laughs> I'll sleep on the floor. And I'm like, thanks, babe. Thanks. I feel close to you now. So he sleeps. So he like gets, he gets on the floor with a, a decorative pillow that he pulls out of a closet um, <laughs> and, and like a singular blanket. And I am like a board in this twin bed. I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay awake. I'm going to stay awake. I stay awake for a very long time. I realize there's like many little details that I've skipped over because it's a long story of us just sitting on this bed watching an ABBA documentary, which he played very loud. Like we couldn't really talk over it. Um, and so we're, so I'm staying awake. Eventually, I guess I fall asleep. By the time I wake up, it's like 12 PM. I, I never really sleep that way. It's that late. It's 12 PM. He is gone. I, I, he's gone. Like he is not in the apartment. I'm like, <laughs> I lived to see another day. <laughs> um, so I wake up and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just going to go from here. Like I don't see him anywhere. There's not a note. There's nothing. And as I'm walking down the stairs, I'm like checking his phone. Like he never gave me his number. We were only DMing through Tinder unmatched. I've been unmatched. I don't know. So my thought ever since I've like analyzed this with people is that like, I think he was trying to traffic or kill me or something like that, but I won him over <laughs> and, <laughs> and he, he thought like, I, this isn't like, I don't want to do this to this sweet, sweet guy. Um, and so we ended up, so he, he ended up leaving. I, I've never heard from him since. Um, I also like, don't really like ABBA always takes me back to that moment and they always trend on TikTok, And I'm like, that's, <laughs> I remember when I remember when. <laughs> Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. So um, that's a crazy, that's not a Valentine's Day story, but sometimes he is my Valentine. If I have no one, I think of him. <laughs> um, and that, that, so that's a story. Fantastic. You want to tell, <laughs> you want to tell yours? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, real quick, do you ever laugh at something just because everyone else is laughing? When you said ABBA, the ABBA documentary, people start laughing, I was like, I'm laughing, I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> Where, do you know what ABBA is? No. So the girl who said uh, he was her celebrity crush, is it over now? <laughs> right, it's over now. ABBA, ABBA, what? you can dance, Oh, you is that her name to sing the song? Is that her name? <laughs> it's a group, oh, it's a oh. group, it's a Swedish group. That is news to me, y'all. Okay, all right, well news. you're learning. I've never got educated on older music. Right. All right, <laughs> well next question. <laughs> Wait, are well, you telling well, us about yeah, Valentine's Day story? I'll tell y'all a Valentine's Day story. So my long distance relationship I was telling y'all about earlier, um, me and that girl were, uh, it was Valentine's Day. And the night before she's like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it. I'm like, yeah, I can't come up there either. And so, so like seven hours, I was like, we're not seeing each other. So my dad went hunting that week, shot a deer. Oh, and, okay. And I didn't I, know for what. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure what we were talking about. And, right. uh, <laughs> and so, um, my uh, my pops like I want to come over and cook you know cook deer with you and I was like yeah come on and uh, I called my buddy Albert up he comes over you know so so we're having a little deer cookout as you house. do yeah, as yeah we've all done it <laughs> we've know? all done it yeah you know I had no plans or whatever and um, so we're sitting there enjoying it having a good old time we're, you know we're on the back strap at this point and uh, and all of a sudden I get a call no I get a knock on the door mm -hmm. and uh, I open up the door and it's my my girlfriend at the time in like a long trench coat and lingerie. Oh, no. And so I'm like, oh fuck. Like she surprised me, but I got my pops and Albert in here like eating deer. Oh And no. I'm like eating oh, deer. Like what's up? Hey. You know what I mean? yeah. And so she like, I'm like my, my, my dad and, and Albert are inside. And right. she's like, she's just immediately like from smiling to like red, like wants to kill me. Yeah. And so I can't just send my dad out, you know, like it's an hour and a right. half drive. Right. Now looking back, I should have sent him out. Should have sent him out. So we go in and we're eating dinner know. or whatever. And, and she's sitting there like with the trench coat like this. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> wow. Covered up. My dad's We've there. All done and it. like, my dad's not catching on at all, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, and so, like, my dad's like, 
hey, do you want some deer? And she's like, no. You know, and she's like, she's getting mad, snappy. And and I was in the doghouse. Why not? Have some deer. <laughs> You're there. You know, like uh, you've made it. You've made the trip. Eat some deer. She, she was not feeling it. Okay. She was not feeling it. Heard. And she wanted some other meat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I, and I tried that night. That didn't work. She wanted after that. She was. She went vegan. Oh know? my god. She wanted nothing. She wanted nothing. Oh, yeah. oh that's yeah. too bad. But uh, yeah. So yeah, that was uh, that was my probably my worst Valentine's Day story. Okay, that's not so bad. That's mm -hmm. okay. That sucks for her that she drove seven hours. <laughs> but I gotta be. I, I gotta say, I'm on like I get all of the sides. Like I you. I don't think you needed to send your dad away. You didn't know she was coming. Yeah. But I guess I don't know. But What's my pops could have went home. My pops. I don't know. So, so her friend, so, so her friends dropped her off because she wanted to surprise me. She's oh. gonna see them the next day. Oh, and get it off. Okay. No, I would have given her like a T-shirt to go get her clothes right. and all okay. that the next okay. day. Well, no, yeah. in hindsight, that's what you should have done for the dinner or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But I was just so like, I guess regardless, I was so flustered and shocked yeah. and didn't know what to do. I was just like. Deer, you know, deer. I, I thought I could offer at that point. Have some deer, yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah that, that, right. That was, okay. a, that was a poor Valentine. Right. So, right. let's go to a song. Let's go to a song. I want to hear some of y'all's dating stories. If y'all got any good ones, I, I hear a quick yeah over here. Okay, All I right. say we pl play Night Changes. Night Changes, right? Let's do it. Yeah, your favorite song from One Direction. It's a good one. Uh, we're back. We're oh, our back. song, we're our back. song has okay. ended, but we'll continue we'll to them. Another another story just came up in my mind. Uh, it's not me, Great. but my agent. Uh, oh. He was out. On the, he was like a new agent in your city, and okay. those guys make no money when they first start. Right. No. Right? Yeah. For sure. And so he goes out on a date with this girl. It's Valentine's Day. Uh huh. And he it's the hardest. You know, it's the hardest place to get a reservation. You know, yeah. in the city. So he finally gets one. It's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night for the. It's a late reservation. Right. Right. She comes, meets him. She's wasted. Oh. Wasted already. Oh. So he's like, oh, God. So they go in, and she's like slurring her words. Like, I'll have a martini. He's like, okay. But he's, he's, he's like, he's broke at this point. So he's like, I got enough for two drinks for her, two drinks for me, oh. maybe an appetizer. Oh, you know? God. And that's so he's tough. like, what if we get the nachos? Right, you know? right. And she's like, I love nachos. Oh my God! She and he and and fun. this girl loves nachos. So okay. as the nachos are going are getting prepared, she falls asleep. So he's just sitting there, just like minding, like doesn't know what to do. Right. And he just lets her sleep until That's sweet until and he's like ordering <laughs> drinks and just chilling. It's love. As soon as the nachos <laughs> come out, she smells it, wakes right back up, and she's like, "Wow, oh, love nachos." I get her. Shit, you not? She pulls up her sleeves. Okay. Goes on the nachos like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And presses them down. No! <laughs> Sour cream, guac, everything. He just mixes them all up. With her hands? With her hands. Whoa. And, and she's just like this, like, like. And oh my God. So, so she finished the nachos. He had a few to be polite and then sent her home and that was that. Yeah, that's not, okay, okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. No, sure. That's wild. I, I don't know what I would do in that situation. I probably would have lived. I, I probably would have left by the time she falls asleep. I'm so sorry. I think I would have been, I think I would have like gone up to a bartender or a waiter and been like, can you, do you mind like calling the police or something like that? Like, I think she might be dead <laughs> and then I'll just get in an Uber and go home. What would you do? Me? I would, I would have been, I would been like this all the time. Yeah. Before. Right. Right. Get up. Hey. I, I yeah. think, I think you, uh, I mean, you you over there, you couldn't do it. You'd be talking to her the whole time. Right. No one can fall asleep on you. N oh. <laughs> is that a compliment? <laughs> Depends <right>. on how <laughs> you take it. <laughs> this, or, this or that. This or that. This or that. Give gifts or receive gifts. Give or receive. Give. You're a giver? I I'm a, such a good gift giver. I'll be honest. Yeah. What's your best gift you've given? Um... I, I, I plan things like I, I, one of my friend's Christmas presents was I planned an entire weekend for us to LA. I flew her out. We did a helicopter tour of LA. I planned every meal that we had together. Um, I surprised her with all of our college friends. And then I planned it all the way to the car that picked her up from the airport to take her back to her apartment. So Damn. I, I set the bar high for when these girls are dating someone. I'm like, you better treat them right. And then when I'm in a relationship game over, my God, I'll do anything for you <laughs> to a fault. 
to a fault, I think. Yeah, I remember like the last Christmas I was in a relationship, um, our Christmas together, I had like the, the gifts were never ending. And he was like, I got you. Uh, I, uh, this, <laughs> and I didn't know what it was. And it was like, well, back, uh, uh, why don't I, why don't you pick something out and I'll just get it for you. And I was like, that takes no effort at all, but thank you. Um, so yeah, I give, I'm a gift giver. What yeah. about you? I'm a giver. I'm a giver. What about the worst gift you've received? The worst gift I've received. Um, uh, God, I don't think there's, I, don't, I, I, I probably don't remember it. No. It's probably been very, very non-memorable. It's just been like, oh, thanks. There's that. Do you know, do you have one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. one oh. stands out for sure. What is it? Like I went to the store, I bought this watch, like I hustled the guy down. I found a Japanese website to get it cheaper and like, I like showed him at Macy's. So they, ma they price matched it, got their ass for like $600 off. But bought her like a really nice watch, like almost all the money I had at the time. Right. And I'm like so stoked. I'm like, damn, I got this for you, babe. And yeah. she's like, oh, this is amazing. This is like the watch I've always wanted. Like it was a Michelle watch and right. she was stoked. And she comes out with her gift and it was a crock pot. I got a crock pot. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck am oh, I going to do yeah. with this? That would not be great. That would be a little tough. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. tough. That was a tough. crock pot. Huh. Romance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. All right. Avoid Valentine's Day or treat yourself. Oh, like if you're single, I treat myself. Always. I'm confused on this question, Tate. Would, Avoid Valentine's Day or treat yourself? Like either just avoid it at all costs. Like did you pretend like it doesn't make you for him? No, we were going to do parentheses because we knew that you would like Whatever. Fuck them. Like, like, <laughs> because you just want to avoid it and you don't want to act like it exists? Or... Oh, I get what you're saying. I got you're saying. Right. Treat myself. Embrace it. Yeah. I, I, love, I love celebrating holidays. Like, yeah. I, I'm going to live up Valentine's Day. I'm going to live up Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, of you course. Know. It's a cute day. Every mm -hmm. like all, all these single girls are wearing pink and we love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean like not all of them, but you right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> rough love or sweet love? Huh. <laughs> rough, <laughs> says the audience. Um I guess wait, there are parentheses. Oh uh, rough love or sweet love? Um uh, it's got to be a mix of both. If there's any, if there's rough, then we got to have some sweetness as well. Like if we, uh, I'm not going to go into detail actually. <laughs> um, but I like, if it's all rough, that's no fun in my opinion. Um, and if it's all sweet, I think there, that can be nice, but like switch it up. I'm not going to go into further detail. <laughs> Though it keeps, I keep having the like impulse to you say it. The girls want to know. The girls want to know. So, so I'm a firm believer of you need both, but yes. I've, I spoke about this before and they're like, no, you have to pick one. Oh. That's what we put parentheses, but we only put Tyler. It's this or that. It's not what we get both. Yeah. Okay, sweet love. I think it's more important than the rough stuff. 100%. The rough stuff can come if the sweet stuff is like, it has a good foundation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So say rough love. And <laughs> uh, so I need both. But, yeah, of course, but of course. No, I, I am a lover. Like I am a lover. I like I like to play my little jazz playlist. I like to turn the lights down low. I like keep, to have a little ambient light. Like keep I'll put going. you on my playlist. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. It's good. You'll like it. Okay. So you and, and I'm, I'm, I'm making take love. us through the story. Take we you walk you you take a girl to the bedroom, right? <laughs> And and walk us through what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This is what everyone wanted anyway. <laughs> but I'm a big kisser. Like I love kissing. I, I've actually heard this. This is like a thing of yeah. yours, right? I'm a big kisser. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, we have to we have to go on a date first. I'm not gonna kiss before the first date. My God. Okay. Um, well, hopefully I'll get a Valentine's Day kiss. Maybe. But yeah, I'm, I'm a kisser, so I think okay. I think I need like for me, like that's the biggest turn on for me is right. kissing. Right. And so uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> So right. I'm a sweet lover for sure. Okay, okay. And then so once you have them in a chokehold, where do you go <laughs> from there? Like is it switching between uh, like on and off and off and on and off? Or is it like is it like we're building up to the moment and then um or is it like after we've hooked up a few times, now I can be a little rough? Or are you I, a little I, rough? I think it's like after a few times you get then you get a little rough, you change the pace a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> just, just, <laughs> Great. Thing, 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 I think like different yeah. occasions, different reasons why you're in that situation is for what it's for. Right, so, right, right. Because sometimes you can hit it off, and that's like the way it begins, and that's really fun. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's like, no, no, no. We need, we'll, we gotta. But they're all great. Right. Yeah. They're all right. great. 
Right. Well, not all of them. I'm sure you've had some bad hookups in your life. Don't fucking lie. <laughs> Don't think around like, no, I actually haven't. I'm so hot. No, no, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> right. And right. usually it's me the problem. So oh, sure, 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 sure. You know, okay, you great. Know. But, uh, but okay. Next okay. question. <laughs> yeah. Guess we'll move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love and lose or never love at all. Love and lose. Oh my God. Like the peaks and valleys of life. If you're, if you're not, I, I, I saw this in a, like a Hollywood round table. If you're not going through ups and downs, then you're flatlining. Then you're literally like your heart is not beating. You're not going through anything. So you need to have the highs for the, you need to have the lows to have the highs. You need to have the highs to have the lows. Like it's always going to be up and down. Um, and I would much rather like f have the feeling of, I, I remember when I was really like, when I was really starting to have like serious relationships and I would really feel a lot for someone and like it wouldn't work out and I would be devastated. Like older friends would be like, don't worry, it gets easier as you go on because like you start, ha you start protecting yourself much more. I was like, I don't think I want to like put out, put up those walls as I grow. Like I want to feel all of this stuff continue. Like I want to continue to feel all this stuff. So I think, think love and lose. What about you? Yeah, no, I think, I think, I mean, the answer we all should hope for is love and lose. Yes. You know, I think it's easy to get to the never love at all yeah. part though, um, because we want to protect ourselves. You know? Yes. Yes. I, I think people, I, I think we get there in points too. Exactly. I, I think I was having a conversation with somebody the other day that really made me think about why I am single and why I'm in the position I'm in mm -hmm. is like, he's like, are you emotionally available? Are you, are you allowing yourself to, for you to like someone? Are you just blocking, you know, what could be a blessing by, by just turning it off? Right, you right. Know? And I think I've battled both of them, you know. Right. Like, I, I think the the best feeling in the world I've ever had was being in love with somebody. Yeah. Like, that shit's cool as fuck. Yeah, it's a good feeling. It is. Yeah. But losing it, it was also the hardest thing. I'd just be in my bathtub crying, man. <laughs> crying in your bathtub? Yeah, Katie knows. She had to come get me out a couple times. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Fully clothed or? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay men do cry that's great that's great yeah but but like but like that that shit and that shit hurts you know yeah but like you said it's like the peaks and valleys like you gotta go through it because every time i've been through something it's made me realize what i want and don't want going yeah forward. right absolutely you need to go through those things for sure right 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 yeah all right, right. We're, we're gonna wrap this up right here right huh <laughs> right keep it going <laughs> oh we're gonna wrap this up here and we're gonna play a little game. So I need everyone to have a drink. Does everyone got a drink? No. Y'all go get a damn drink. Come on, what are you doing? We're on pause. Okay. How about this? I'm gonna play a song. I'm gonna play a song and let's go get a drink. Okay, great, great. All right, does everyone have a drink? There we go. All right, we're gonna play a little game. Never have let's I take a never. Deep breath or something. Yeah, okay. Let's ready? Go. Never yeah, have I ready. ever. Never have I ever. So you're gonna drink if you've done it. So if you're on, if you're on the chat, comment sip. That's not for you guys. That's for the people. Yeah, yeah. But uh, all right, never have I ever. First one, been blindfolded. Oh, and if we've done it, we drink, right? Yes. Mm. <laughs> have you not? I've never been blindfolded. Oh, you've blindfolded. No, I've never done that oh. either. I need to try. Boring. Okay. <laughs> this guy, vanilla. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Never been handcuffed. No. Drink if you've done hey, it. Hey, period. Yes. Handcuffed, does it have to be by actual handcuffs? Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, I'll tied up. Tied up. Yes. Yeah, right. Drink. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Had sex yeah. in the car. We all got a drink to that. We all were in high school once. I don't think I've had full sex in a car. No? No. Oh, but man. But the mechanics of... The other, the other day I left my bed because I, like, I went to my car. Wait, what? The yeah. other day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other day you left your bed and you went to the car? Went like to my truck. With a... With someone, yeah. <laughs> you're like, and you found someone in your car. No, I, wait, I went jerked off. What? <laughs> wait, what? Why yeah. did you go to the car? No, we were just having a wild night of sex, and we were like in there and there. I was like, let's just go outside and do something different. We'll I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever really. Oh, and I, no, <laughs> I've never had sex in a car. I've done other but, things. But, so it's also been something I've always. Wanted. I got a new truck, right? 
And so it, you wanted to show it off? No, no, no. It's a old fucked in the back of my F-150. <laughs> 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 no, it's, a, it's an old school truck. It's got a bench seat, right? Right. So I've always wanted to do it in the bench seat of a car. Never yes, do it. yes. So, but a F-150. I don't know either. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, All keep right. going. I had sex in the shower. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. you, okay. Use sex toys. Mm. What's everyone's favorite sex toy? Um, I don't really, I, I don't, I actually don't really prefer them. I would rather the real thing. Mm -hmm. But when I was, um, when I was in high school and I was uh, uh, the training, I was, I wanted to be a better bottom. Um, I <laughs> bought, I bought, I was really drunk one night and I bought, I've told this story on a Poppers. podcast before. No, I have bought popper. I, I have. Yeah, right. I just, I just Poppers are regular. I'm surprised you know what they are. I, um, I, I bought a a nine inch dildo from <laughs> a from a sex shop, and I would I would use it in the dorms of my in, in the dorm bathrooms of my boarding school. <laughs> I would just sit on it and wait until I felt fine, and then I would r remove it, and then I would go about my day. And I did that like every day for a few weeks until the next time I had sex with a guy, it slipped right in. <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, I did exactly what I needed to do. So I, 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 again, I don't, I'm not like, I'm not like, yeah, like I, yeah, put it in. I, now I would rather have the real thing in me, you know what I mean? Or, or use, or is it something else? Yeah. You know, it's, there's nothing really too, too exciting. I feel like, I feel like, um, like a vibrator, if I had that kind of like material down there would be really fun. I'm jealous <laughs> of you guys. I'm jealous to be honest, because some of, some of my girlfriends like explain like what it's like. And I'm like, tell me more. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so good, and you're not even penetrated. Wow, how fun is that? So, so you answer now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know if I, I mean, I don't know, but I think every guy's first sex toy they buy is the cock ring with the little vibrator on the top. Yeah. Wasn't my first one, but okay. <laughs> okay. But I feel like every guy buys that one first, and then they realize that thing is terrible. Yeah, right. And, and, and Huh? You don't need to keep going, keep going. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, you don't use it. But but yeah, that, I mean that's the. Uh... Have you ever had something? <laughs> 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 Has anyone put anything? Up your up your ass. <laughs> Has anyone uh, even a finger, a thingy? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Finger, okay. Yeah. 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 What do you think? What? What do you think? Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Licked it. <laughs> <laughs> Me or them? Uh, both. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Got it, got it. Heard. Heard. Okay, okay. <laughs> got well, it, that, got that, it, got this it. This our next question. <laughs> Done butt play. Oh, I have to. It's my only <laughs> option. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, visibility for it. Okay, continue. Been to an orgy. Anyone? No, I, I, I wish, to be honest. That sounds like a lot of fun. If I could be mass and covered, yeah. Right, right, yeah, yeah, for sure. Did anyone drink for that? Like, is anyone proudly? Right, okay, okay. Oh, sure. Of course the one gay in the room has been to an orgy. Oh my God. It's always us. It's always us. Right. What about this one? Farted during sex. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Not that I've like remembered, but listen, it's like, it's like, yeah, right. Anyway. <laughs> Probably. Said the wrong name during sex. No. No, but have you ever been, have you ever gotten, have you ever become self-aware of what you're doing while you're having sex? Yes. And then you're like, oh, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, why are we making these sounds? What are we doing? Everyone shut up. Stop. Stop talking for one minute. I remember, I remember that happened recently and I was like, I can't, I, I have to continue playing the part because I can't like now make it awkward. But like sometimes when you think about it, sex, embarrassing, so weird. <laughs> sucking dick what are we doing what are we doing and pretending that we like it none of us are having fun we're just doing it until we hurt <laughs> Holy shit. it's so weird it's so weird 
Why are we, it's like skin over and over again. We're just moving up and down. What's going on? <laughs> But I bet are you do you are you are you one of those guys who just like you love you love eating a girl out right? Yeah. <laughs> I know I there there there's those guys who are like I just love going down on a girl. Yeah, but I, is it easier? It's a cavernous cave. I'm like what's in there? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I could get lost. I mean, I've never actually. I have done it once. Um, uh, but so how was that? How was that journey for it you? It was fine. I was, it was my high school graduation party, so I was really drunk. I don't really remember it, but it was it was a, 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 similar to the experience of sucking dick. You're putting your mouth on skin and just like licking, <laughs> you know, and like and like and like really, and we're all and we're all giving our all. We are we are trying so hard. We're trying to. Let me, you're, you're you're trying to to oh, pretend man. that you're enjoying it. So so much to make that other person when really you're like if I enjoy this enough maybe they'll finish <laughs> maybe I'll be done with my job if I pretend like I'm enjoying what's going on oh man I had, I had a buddy the other day I yep. shit you not he's 27 years old okay and we were all sitting there talking about eating he's like he's like every time I eat a girl out she always grabs me and pulls me up and we're like stop. to stop because he's terrible oh. and we're like so what are you doing he's like I'm doing the ABCs. <laughs> no. No. But I assume, I assume there is probably a lot, I mean, I guess similar to like there are probably people who don't give great, great head for guys. Like, I think, I think uh, from my experience of talking to my girlfriends, a lot of guys don't know how to do it very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. But uh, you figured it out, right? I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wingman. <laughs> Continue. Slept with someone in a relationship. No, like you're not in a relationship. Oh. You slept with someone that knowingly they were in a relationship. <laughs> a home record, yes. What about unknowingly? Unknowingly, yeah. It's okay. What do you do in that situation? Do you hit that person up afterwards? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Yeah, there's not much to say. I've, I had a friend who was told that she was cheated on in a relationship years ago, and I felt like it just gave her this grief from years ago that she didn't really need. I was like, we're now dealing with this present situation that you would never have known. Like, and and, and it, we've gone through the relationship. You would have been okay. And so I was kind of almost in the camp of like, if it's if you find out years later that someone was in a relationship, what's the point of bringing it up? It's just going to cause more trouble at that point. But I, you know, honesty is always the best thing. So if 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 you are moved to say so, there's me with my diplomatic answer again. <laughs> like, if you are moved to say so, you should say it. Yep. All right, slept with a MILF or a DILF? <laughs> yeah, right. Nose? Is it nose? Antonio, we got to work on that. <laughs> yeah. My type was daddy's. Would you, uh, do you, are you, are you, is this one of them? I mean, no, I, I don't think this would be one of them. Do you enjoy being called daddy in bed? No. No? Mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> is anyone else shocked by that answer? Hate it. You hate it. No. Okay, great. Cause I'm like, that's not it. I don't, I don't know. Would you ever Somebody be Somebody did call me Mr. Cameron one time. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. That's kind of, that's fun. That was cool. But if someone were like, fuck me, Mr. Olsen. No, <laughs> that wouldn't be that great. What was it? What was it? Like, what, what was the context? Give it to us. Mr. I'm not, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to do it. You were about to do it. Come I on. I got it. Come I on. can't do it. Whis wait, what if you whispered it to me and I said it? All right. All right. Have you ever had sex on a plane? <laughs> No. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, I wish if I no. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I do. The mechanics of that. You had I'm sex thinking. in a fitting room. <laughs> Woo! Hey, yes, girl. No, I've never had never had sex on a plane. Um. All right. Those things are tiny. All right. Had sex on a beach. Uh, yeah, we're in Florida. It seems like a lot of you people will. That was, that was like the high school bedroom for everybody. So you have? Yes. Oh. I mean. Drink. I, I, I'm, I'm out. I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Great, 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 great. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. Nope. Never. Never. But, not no. on a beach. It's not, no, it's not, I've, it's not, I've, never, I've never really been into the public 
part of it all. Maybe that's part, I don't know. No. And it's like, I, I'm just, I'm so nervous. I know that's why people kind of like it is that it's like, we could be caught anytime. I'm like, exactly, <laughs> exactly. We could be caught anytime. <laughs> we can't. I would much rather be in a bed where I can uh, you let go. When you're in a when you're in a bedroom, it's like and no one else is around. But you we were, play that character of yourself. I we, guess whatever. I feel like down here, like we're, we're like if you grew up down here. Yeah, yeah no, I, I grew up in the DC area. Oh. No one's having sex no, no on a beach there. over there. But like when you're in high school, it's like only place to go. You know, the beach. Like we throw parties at the beach. You walk down the beach. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But sand is everywhere. It's a mess. You like drive your car out to the beach and yeah. like heard. Okay, heard. heard. Good to know. Well, We're so connected. <laughs> we keep looking at each other. We're so connected. Keep going. <laughs> no, that's that's all I got. Oh, from that's never, it. Unless you got one for us. Oh well, no. I guess it would have been never have I ever like had something up up because uh, I yeah right. <laughs> um, what what's another one? Never. Wow wow. Oh uh, never. Okay wait. Like never have I ever hooked up with someone of the who of the same gender. No. Yeah, come on. We've had some people who've hooked up with girls. Yeah, come on. That's so fun. I have. And the other gay has. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, I don't really know other ones. No. Do, do you guys have one? Yeah, question. Mm, unique place. Oh. So she asked, what's the most unique place we've ever had sex? I lost my virginity on top of a building, like, a, no, 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 not on top of a building. Um, like a, a community washer dryer room, like in a building. <laughs> Wasn't great. Wasn't great. Okay, sure, sure. Hey, queen. Whoa! That was great delivery. Yes. Yeah. I in. will. I We're will. I mean, he's the one that's got to say yes before me, so that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, well, he said yes, though. So <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> We're like, fuck the straight one. Um, so, wait, you said movie theater. I've never, uh, never, ha never have I ever done something in a movie theater. Oh. You? I'm sure you've had some wild times in a movie theater. Just a, just a hand job. A hand job in a movie theater? Like middle school, yeah. Middle school? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was like the cool thing to do in middle school. Like go Get a to, hand job in the movie theater? Yeah. Wow. So. <laughs> I feel like a therapist. I just opened up so much with he you. Really you know? did. This has been great. This, he's really opened up a lot. I feel like I'm, I, I, can't wait to, I can't wait to learn what can't be said on the podcast <laughs> even after this, too. <laughs> I'll tell all of you. Um, but wow. any more questions before we wrap this thing up and start having drinks and hanging out with y'all? Do it! What? <laughs> oh. Your friend put you on the spot. My dream first date? Yep. If you had all the money in the world. Oh, it doesn't, even, it, it doesn't even have to be something extravagant. I think it's... It, it, oh, this is so annoying, but it's about the conversation. You know, um, and it's like, Dinner. it's like, yeah, it's like connecting with someone. And it, like, if I'm able, I remember one date I went on, we like dinner was at eight and the restaurant closed at like 1130 or something. And we literally closed out the restaurant. Like we were talking the entire time and like we were the last people there. And that was a really good date. Like, I feel like that's the ideal thing is when you feel really connected to someone and then like, yeah. And then you have a really good second date and where you hook up or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> That's it. That feeling when you drive home after one of those good dates is great. Though, yes. Isn't it? Yes. Great. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's all downhill from there. You're right. Right. Blonde or brunette? That one's for you, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> she looked right at you. Huh? Yeah, I would say I'm all. Like, like, everyone asks me, like, do I have a type? I'm all over the place. Yeah, I don't really give up. I don't what? Give up. No. Yeah. I mean, I think there's been. I mean, the. Like, well, <laughs> dark hair, curly hair. <laughs> dark. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really give a fuck. Maybe that's just recent. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Yes. Um, what's a red flag you've ignored, or, and what's your like? What's the red flag of yours? Oh, a red flag of mine. Like, what would you say your red flag is? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my God. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know what your red flag is? Okay, yeah. you go. You go. 
like disrespecting like the server, or the waiter, or people at the restaurant. Oh, oh, wait, wait, no, 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 hold on, no, <laughs> right, 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 right. What? yeah, no, that is your worst red flag. But what is a red flag oh, for, oh, for like that you do? Oh, thank you okay. for thinking I would yeah, never do I was that. Like, no, you know no, no, I mean? no, 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 that's <laughs> not what you had. because also you. Why would you freely say that? Oh yeah, I disrespect service <laughs> thank people you, thank often. You. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually one of my things. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I know you're you probably, but yeah, that's that's definitely that's uh, no my. My, one of my worst red flags that someone else does is usually bad communication or just generally like, yeah, like, or someone, I think one of the worst red flags is actually someone who talks about being a great communicator and then very early on is obviously not. And I think I've realized if you talk about being a great communicator, really, if you have to say that to me so often, then who, who are you trying to, who are you trying to convince? You know what I mean? I know you've said before you're a good communicator. I'm not talking about you. Um, <laughs> um, but I think, sure. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ba bad communication is a red flag. And obviously if you're, if you're rude to What's your people. What's your red flag? Oh, um, my red flag. I think I can be, I, I think I, hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess it depends. I, I can probably be pretty over, uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't want to like say it out loud. And then someone's <laughs> like, well, I can't anymore. Um, I guess, I guess I probably, um, like I can probably do too much early on. Like I'm probably, I give, I give, uh, give myself to a level that's probably like you, you don't have to do all of that. You can like save some of yourself. You don't have to, um, like just pour yourself out to someone in, in that sort of way. But I don't think, I think I've, I think I've started to do that less. Um, I think I, yeah, I, I, I don't know what my, I don't know what my red flag is. I think I try to, I think I try to play a character. I don't know if this is a red flag, but I try to play a character of myself for the early on. Like I pretend like I'm very chill. I'm not very chill. And so if we're not talking, like I, 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 I put on this like act that it's very chill. So then, then we're, we've been dating for a second and the chill part of me goes away a little I bit. Forgot, I forgot who I was listening to, but someone said when you meet somebody for the first couple of times, you're meeting the representative. Yes, not hundred percent. What's your red flag? I think my red flag, which I've been working on, I think is like when I really like someone, I want to see them, I want to talk to them, like almost oh, like love sure. bombing. I, mean, I want to see you, I want to do this, do this you know? Mm -hmm. And so now I've tried to slow things down. That's really self-aware of you. Yeah, I'm trying to slow things down. Try yes. To pump, try to pump the brakes a little bit. Yeah, I think I think also love bombing can sometimes come intention unintentionally from people. I think a lot of the time it's like, oh, this guy was like love bombing me. It was so obvious. Um, and I think sometimes when I'm connecting with friends, I'm like, yeah, like that that is is was love bombing but i think i think he probably did mean it at the time no. but i think people can sometimes feel a lot and then they're just kind of feeling the honeymoon phase of things and and letting it fizzle out though i do i don't that's not me saying love bombing is like a great thing and you should like love being love bombed but I, but I would say i would say though like when i have gone like when i'm like really into somebody and i feel like i go all in yeah i go all in and it, and it goes for a little while yeah until it doesn't but like it's, right. it's not because the love bombing stops or whatever right it's just like it just doesn't work out yeah 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 yeah. of course of course i think it's it's want, all well mm. <laughs> i suck at dating it's a work in progress <laughs> all of us all of us right let's all hold hands at the end of this <laughs> cheers cheers to that yeah amazing we already have some drinks and have some fun yeah. Well, I appreciate all y'all for coming out and tuning in on the live and in person. It was an amazing first night out. Chris, you're so fucking funny, dude. You're great. You're the best. Thank you're the best. you. This Round is applause great. For Chris, everybody. Let's get some drinks. Let's have some fun and let's, let's make it a good night, y'all. Thank you for coming out. Let's do it. Woo!